Hey guys, this is grinding it up number 95. We are going back to 10NL6 Max Poker and look at that, that, that beautiful graph, that beautiful of a 10NL6 Max graph uh, mixed between Zoom and regular tables. And uh, the fun fact is most of the winnings, so not most of the winnings, half of the winnings, a little bit less than half of the winnings actually came from regular tables in an insane run at the deep stack tables but well i gotta admit that's kind of a little bit of a cheat on uh on the stakes because you know 10 nl deep stack you usually win between 20 to 25 bucks each hand so you know it's natural that this can go faster but anyways um we did quite well at those tables as you remember if we go back and running it up history and if we dig up all those episodes where I played those deep stack tables, you might remember all the stuff that happened down there. That was insane, uh, the least to say. And I'm going to pick that up for today's episode. So I'm going to be playing some 10 nl deep stack poker in memory of these, uh, these, these great games that we played in that great episode that we had. Uh, it's a little bit of a different time for me to do this video. I've been doing videos all morning. and I've been doing private coaching all morning. So... I might be a little bit exhausted, so please bear with me if I lose my tend to lose my train of thought during hands or during something that I say. <laughs> so uh, it's afternoon. Uh, I already had my lunch and a afternoon cup of espresso, and you can also hear the children in the kindergarten screaming. So that's how you know it's a different time of the day. Well, anyways, that was just a beautiful, some beautiful results, some beautiful win rates. In Zoom, we managed to get close to 10 big blinds, but it's only 28k hands. It's not that much. But I still feel, you know, I think I got a decent grip on those stakes, and I think it's not too tough uh, to get that grip. Um, well, of course, uh, you need to make some adjustments, as always, as you always do in certain stakes. But we'll look out for that. So, without further ado... Let's just jump into some fun deep stack poker action. So here we go. It was tough to get some action going. Uh, a couple of minutes ago, the tables were all looking like this. This is the only game that was running. Uh, now I managed to get up these two games and I hope this game fills up. Um, <laughs> it's definitely uh, not a good time of the day as it seems. For people to play some deep stack poker, even at 10 NL, but well, we'll see, we'll see. So here I open my ace five and get called and just check this back, get this to showdown and probably fall to a pot-sized river bet. Um, here over here, I actually bluffed um, Mr. Grundig, who snapped me off. Well, to be honest, he four bet me with queen six off, and I flat it with 4-3 suited and I hit a gutter he hit a pair <laughs> he checked it back on the turn and I I bluffed the river so yeah <laughs> and he called me with a pair of sixes so more power to him good call good call um, here I have three threes that's sweet so we're just gonna keep betting and uh, Get some action going here. An offsuit ace. Uh, I think... <laughs> now the real question is, do I shove for value or do I just call? I think I'm just going to call. I mean, I could shove for value, certainly. Uh, I think I should shove for value. I mean, he can't really have... He could have a boat. Yeah, I mean, he could have a boat. But I should be shoving for value there, to be honest. Um... Here with my open ender, I'm just gonna fire through. Just feel that's good. And yes, everybody is on tape right now. So if you guys are have just come and see my post on Facebook that I just put out there, <laughs> that's nice of you to help out. So that's a sweet river, of course. And uh, we just hope that he doesn't have. What can he have? Eight six. Eight six would be nasty, but. We're just going to shove regardless. I mean, there's just no way we shouldn't shove this for value. <laughs> and we should have certainly... I think I'm a little bit too accustomed to zoom poker, where in that spot that we just saw, the guy 
would usually show up with a boat, but at regular table game, this <laughs> this can be quite different, as you saw. So I'm gonna open a slight, slightly bigger in uh, deep stack anti games because of stack sizes and because of anti, just uh, to make more. Uh, I can't even tell you. Ah, there you go. I mean, <laughs> I'm in my in my hungover state. Um, I could raise here, given that I just saw what he did. There's just so many turn cards that I don't like to see, and I'm not closing the action. So I'm not going to put tons of money in t on this board. Certainly not. And we're going to wait for him to act, so we get an easy exit on this one. He's probably going to be very strong, so we're just going to end up folding this. And the fives were certainly flat calling. I also changed the, the design a little bit. Hope you like the new design. <clears throat> and don't mind if I say anything random or something that doesn't sound right, because I'm in my hungover afternoon, after coffee state of mind, where I shouldn't be playing too much intense poker. Um, I think I'm going to raise this here with my fives. I have a gutter and uh, a gutter pretty much. That's all I got, but um, I think I can put some pressure on uh, the open razor here. I mean, he, he certainly won't enjoy uh, continuing on a board like this with such deep stacks, so I think I should be applying some pressure there. So... Uh, the 4 7, that's a big open. I'm still going to call regardless. Um, I want to get involved with this guy, and that's certainly a great board. And I hope that he fires and follows up with some bets. And uh, that's certainly not a great turn, <laughs> but we're not, we're not going to fold. I mean, <laughs> don't get me wrong. Uh, he might have a queen, but we're not folding. Not only because we hate folding, but that would be just an atrocious fold. If we call this preflop. So we we ran pretty pretty insanely well there. I mean, we had four seven. He had pocket seven. So I'm sorry uh, to suck out that badly, but you know, it's just the ante is just so enticing. That's the fun about these games. Is you know, it it actually welcomes my style of play because I love to see flops and seeing flops is just <laughs> seeing flops is great. I love seeing flops. I would love to see flops with this one as well. I think I'm just going to pay the 15 cents to see this flop. I want to see this flop. You know, I might just... This is probably not the state for you guys to learn something from me. Because I'm going to be in a loosey-goosey state of mind where I'm just going <laughs> to... Just going to honor the fact that we ran so well at the 10 nl deep stack tables we might even be able to donate something back who knows um, and uh, you should be aware of that and not probably not view this as a as a learning experience this is more of a fun episode and all of these road to episode 100 should be viewed as more of fun episodes I hope you you get that uh, the, the straight content is coming. Uh, oh, well, I'm just going to give up the queen five here. The straight content that I produced this morning, for instance, this is going up on my site soon. So you can you can view it all over there very fairly soon, I hope. We're still working on this, so it could take a couple more days. Don't want to promise anything. So uh, just check back on grindingitup.de. It's going to be grindingitup.de the German site. Somebody snatched grindingitup.com from me. I'm gonna gonna have to buy it from somebody who took it. <laughs> so the fives here is just a check back against three opponents. Change the layout also for video purposes, just to have some you know some fresh air here. I'm just gonna check this down. Uh, and what else I, I wanted to say something else. Oh yeah you might have realized that Olivia is keeping track of a of some advances of the grinding it up bankroll I played a couple more sessions at 50 NL and at 25 NL and at 10 NL to uh, for the purposes of making videos for my new site and I ran fairly well in these sessions and I managed to to win some money so I put that to the I always 
point in the wrong direction. Uh, I put that to the credit of the grinding it up bankroll, so it's up at 3,245. I'm going to show you the graph pretty soon. So. Also, another fun fact here is, since I got my hotkey, uh, and I got some stuff that's lying on the, uh, going to call the tens here, uh, that's lying on the F and the B button. <laughs> the F and the B button don't work, so it should be fun reads should E un. <laughs> so if anybody of you guys ever wonders why uh, <laughs> why Flix types random stuff into the chat that doesn't make any sense at all and that's missing vowels, uh, that's missing consonants, uh, you got the answer right there. That's the answer. <laughs> My hotkey. <laughs> it's my hotkey. So with the tens here, he fires again. I think we're just going to call again and just hope to show it down. Um, I mean, he certainly has a strong range there since he raises under the gun. And he can certainly have a hand like king-queen or ace-king. And it certainly looks like he could be value betting. So I'm just going to end up folding my, my pair of tens here on the river. I just don't think I should be full. This is weird, but looks like he has a backdoor flush. Um, so this is a this is a sweet hand to three bet, and this is what we're gonna do, and this is a sweet hand to c bet, which is what we're gonna do, and same applies to this one. Uh, it's also a hand that you know plays well even if we do get four bet, and we do get four bet. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna end up just calling this four bet in position and proceed with caution there. And we hope to win to make the winner here, but we don't. He spikes an ace. <laughs> so we do we do donate some money back here. Um, and uh, I think we have the best hand here a fair bit, but we need some protection, so I'm just gonna go ahead and bet. And this guy looks like he's he's probably one of the more aggressive guys at these levels. Not sure he just joined all my tables. So did he know just two tables? There we go. So, graph, if you see that, your action is appreciated. Uh, I'm going to bet half pot here. I'm going to bet six. This is a great turn for us. Could bet a little bit less, but I think six is actually quite nice. Maybe first instinct told me to bet something like 580. I think 580 would have been better. Uh, that's a that's a sweet sweet turn. Maybe I end up do making some money even in the hungover state of mind that I have. So blind on blind, I'm gonna three bet my pocket nines. Nines is a strong hand, and yeah, I'm gonna happily call this off. Oh, that's good. So we got him drawing dead. Uh, Sixty cents. I think I'm gonna call. Oops. Yeah, I'm gonna call. Uh, and see what he does there. That's that's interesting. So he four bets. Long hair. I think you're a follower of the series, and so should uh, some people here. I'm gonna check this back. I'm a little bit scared. He snapped four bet. I don't know what that means. Uh, and I think I'm gonna bet one dollar. Let's put out a one dollar bet. That's not a great river. I'm going to check this back, and I expect you to have some ace-jack, ace-ten, ace-king type hands. That's what I would put you on. Oh, you have jacks. That's perfectly fine to play like that. Absolutely. Oh, <laughs> uh, this should be fun. This should be fun nonetheless. So, uh, the ace-ten suited. I have some sweet backdoor draws. Some sweet backdoor draws. This is a bad hand, deep stacked. I have such sweet backdoor draws. I just, you know, <laughs> I just, I just want to call for the backdoor draws. To be honest, I mean, any jack, any spade, an ace, just it should, it should be all right. But I think I'm, I'm going overboard here. So forget that. Sorry, guys. I'm just making strange plays now. I think I'm just getting carried away here with <laughs> the fun aspect of this episode. So I hope you you don't mind me being a little bit crazy today. 
so at least we did end up making some money from this. So sorry guys if I don't chat much. Uh, I need to talk and figure out what to do at four different tables at the same time while managing to overcome uh, my fatigue, my afternoon fatigue. <laughs> I can only advise you one thing. So this is something to learn from this episode. It's very important uh, to not play poker when you're in this state of mind. When you're in this state of mind, don't play poker. This is what you can learn from this episode. So, now the ace 10 suited, that's going to be a nice, lovely hand. Whoops. And I'm going to 3 bet this. And I don't have the B ready. You two. I want to type in YouTube, but it can only be YouTube. <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> it's like I can't even type. So uh, we clash heads, Mr. Graf Volsq. Uh, I am certainly not going to fold to you, Mr. Graf. Out of respect, not even out of respect. Actually, it's respect because I mean you have some balls there, sticking it in with Ace King. And certainly a ballsy, gutsy play. Um, and so I'm going to give you action, Mr. Graf. This is what you deserve for the action that you're giving me. And yeah, you're certainly giving some good action there. Uh, certainly calling the Queen 10 here and calling the Queen Jack for sure. And uh, making a nice hand. I'm certainly betting the turn here. And I'm betting this turn for sure. 140. One is for value, one is as a bluff. So nobody can ever read anything into that. I'm betting 140, both as a bluff and for value. And I'm going to bet 380. So you can't read any much into that either. Take this, Mr. Mr. Hecrit. Oh, I won. Did I win? Who? So. Oh, some fun stuff here. Fun games, for sure. So these games are really awesome. <laughs> and I hope you don't mind uh, and you guys are also having fun that you're playing because I guess yeah uh, I guess a lot of you guys are gonna watch this so um, my biggest respect for sitting down at these tables and getting these games going and I hope you're enjoying this as much as I'm doing even though there's gonna be some money exchanged between the what's that the um the 24 of us <laughs> is it 24 times 4 6 times 4 yes that's 24 <laughs> uh he pots it on the turn uh that's weird that's weird so What is he seriously pot with here? I hate folding, but I think I'm gonna fold like a little baby, and I don't like it. I think he was bluffing. He has 100% VPIP, so I think he needs to bluff at least some of the time. Um, seeing that we already got 60 minutes, but I'm enjoying this, so. <laughs> I should keep on playing. Uh, I'm certainly going to play this draw a little bit more aggressively. This is a good draw. And I'm getting click back 3-bet, which I don't think is going to be weak. So I'm just going to call, see a turn, decide from there. He bets half pot. The board is paired. So I don't want to don't draw to a, to a straight that's no longer valuable. So I'm going to end up making a tight fold. This is not a good card for us. Goodbye, you beautiful hand. That was a beautiful hand, for sure. Oh, these deep stack tables, they're, they're so much fun, guys. Seriously. Um, and, I mean, you can certainly imagine why my graph went into such a great direction and took such heaps um, because of hands like this that were constantly uh, going on. So, now I'm definitely not folding. 
I got top pair and this guy is just playing every single hand. I should have realized earlier. And I think I might just even not stick it in right now. I'm just going to call. And I'm certainly not going to fold the river. I mean, he can have king queen. He can have some backdoor flushes. He can have a 10. That's actually not a good river. But I just can't see how we can fold given that what he has been doing all the time. And it just looks like, yeah, that's, you know, somebody with 100% VPIP, he probably will be bluffing. Fair money. I guess he might have even bluffed us off the best hand earlier, Mr. Grisha. Did you do that? Um, I'm not sure if Mr. Vault's Q is willing to fold yet. So uh, now this is a great spot. This is a great, great spot. And we're going to make this a 420, I guess. For 425. This one we're going to fold. I'm just going to try and. Uh, I think we're going to just bet this river. Oh, he didn't have much left. So, well, we're just going to hope he doesn't have a king. I mean, we should have actually checked and let him stick the rest in. But not sure about that. 140 again. I'm mixing my bet sizes. Mind me. I bet 140 as a bluff and for value, so you never know what I'm doing. <laughs> so remember, the 140, that's, that's going to be my favorite bet size. He's tanking. He's slow rolling us. <laughs> I guess we deserve it. He's slow rolling us. You're slow rolling us, aren't you? <laughs> he's he's taking the entire time bank and then he's finally gonna Oh now he's getting disconnected. Ah yeah, he has ace check suited. And he doesn't get there. Whoops. Um, queen nine suited. I'm going to put out a three bet. I'm going to call my tens against Mr. Graf. The count. Graf is count in German. So, uh, I think this is a bad flop, which I don't like to see bet. And yeah, what else can we do? Then just make it 140. 140 is good, and he has a flush, so <laughs> can't blame him for that. Flush is good, sir. <laughs> okay, guys, I think... Oh, we had the same hand. That's fun. That's fun. Um, so thank you, everybody, for participating in this episode and get this game started. These are These were some great games. I enjoyed them. I hope you did too. Sit out, next big blind. And these are some really great games. So give these anti games, give them a, a chance. They're really great. And just because it's fun, I'm going to uh, I'm going to put out a little. Uh, he has position on me. I'm not going to bother. He has position. He has the advantage. So. I was just about to pull the trigger, but that would be just fancy play, you know. Not going to get too excited. So let's have a final look at results. Oh, this should be exciting. So remember that we had a, a profit of 500 bucks, and now we have another 44 bucks to add to that, which means that the grinding it up bankroll here the grinding it up bankroll is at three thousand and three hundred dollars maybe we can even get it up to three thousand three hundred and thirty three dollars which would be a nice number to have okay so that's it for now guys i hope you enjoyed this episode even though i wasn't you know at the probably not at the top of my game so still hope you enjoyed goodbye thanks for playing everybody who participated everybody you sat down and hope you enjoyed this episode. See you guys for Grunning It Up number 96. Goodbye and keep grunting it up. Um, hey guys, this is Grunning It Up 95.